Number 12. Taking the age of Earth to be about 4 times 10 to the 9 years, and assuming its orbital radius of 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters has not changed and is circular, calculate the approximate total distance the Earth has traveled since its birth, in a frame of reference stationary with respect to the Sun. Alright, so here we have a little picture, right? Now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out the total distance that Earth has traveled. Okay, and notice that the distance that Earth is traveling is circular, right? So, and the Earth traveled a certain distance, right, every year, okay? And they want to know over this many years, right, 4 times 10 to the 9, uh, how far has Earth traveled? So it might make sense to figure out, well, let me first figure out how much or what the total distance that the Earth travels in a year is, and then maybe I can figure it out over 4 times 10 to the 9 years. So let's do that first, all right? I want to highlight this particular formula on the top right. All right, now that formula says that the change in radians will equal the arc length, or change in arc uh, length, divided by the radius. Okay, so in terms of one revolution, right, whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise, uh, counterclockwise, it obviously doesn't matter, but in terms of revolutions, how many radians are there in a revolution? We have to remember that one radian is equal to two pi, uh, excuse me, <laughs> one revolution is equal to two pi radians. All right. So what that means is that if I'm considering one revolution of the Earth, right, that would be equal to two pi radians. Now this theta stands for radians. So therefore what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug in two pi. And what that allows me to do now is if I, if I plug in then the radius of the circular path, this will then calculate the arc length per year. That should make sense, right? So just do a cross multiplication here. So the change in S, or AKA the arc length, will be 2 pi times 1.5 times 10 to the 4, uh, excuse me, 10 to the 11th. My 11 almost looks like a 4, that's why I got confused. So that value becomes 9.42 times 10 to the 11, and that is in meters, okay? Now this is meters per what? Remember, we, we plugged in 2 pi, so this is really meters per year. So this is the arc length every year that it travels around the sun. It travels this many meters. Now, it should be fairly straightforward, right? If I got to calculate the total distance and this is the total number of years, it sounds like I should just do a multiplication, right? Sounds that way because the units work out to, to look like this, 9.42 times 10 to the 11 meters per year if I now take this value and multiply it by the 4.9, oops, excuse me, 4 times 10 to the 9 years, notice what happens to years, and what are we left with? Meters, right? That'll give us the total meters. So we have 9.42 times 10 to the 11 multiplied by 4 times 10 to the 9, and we get a nice tremendously large value of 3.7, looks like 7, 7, right? times 10 to the 21 meters. So that will be the total, oops, that turned into tr into a triangle. That will be the total meters, the total distance that the Earth will have traveled in its lifetime. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe, and I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.